After taking over management of the family paint business at the age of 22, it was on a business trip to the United States in 1959 where David was exposed to trends that were to influence the future direction of the firm profoundly. The most important of these changes were the advent of supermarkets, the rise of the shopping centre and the need for parking for any successful retailing. As David later expressed, it was like having tomorrow's newspaper. By 1994, there were a total of 52 Levine retail shops, plus paint and wallpaper factories. David decided to sell the Levine chain to Scalarup and changed his business to Lewis Holdings Limited in memory of his father. This new company is the investment vehicle for a large proportion of the family investments. In 1995, David formed a property company called Quadrant Properties, which is a significant commercial property developer and owner. Never one to favour the limelight, Sir David believes that giving time is just as important as giving money, and the David Levine Foundation is a generous benefactor to many charitable, educational and sporting organisations. There is no doubting that Sir David has been a key influence in our wider community. Well, the thing that motivates me, and um, probably always has, is uh, I love being with people. I, uh, I find that um, uh, uh, being with people, especially young people, uh, and nowadays I'm happy to say that we're involved in about 30 uh, companies, all with young people. His biggest achievement would have to be the changing of a market in New Zealand, the homewares market, into the big format. This was before the Bunnings and all of those people were here. That was his vision that he brought back from the United States and he set about to achieve it. What's really important to him I think is uh, from my point of view has seen the development uh, of his foundation um, and all the good work that that does. Um, profit as such has never motivated me. The thing that has um, motivated me is security. I came from a pretty poor background and the security for my family and my people has always been very important to me. I think I've learnt to be uh, more people focused from him and probably um, a slightly higher business ethical standard on my part. So those are the things that you absorb that where problems existed and perhaps didn't work out, then he wasn't one to abandon the thing and walk away. It was to settle up with all his creditors and move on. So his business ethics are very strong. He inspires everybody that, that, that meets him. Um, he has a, an amazing ability to um, create relationships and relationship building and, and that has inspired me and I've learnt a lot in how to do that. Well, he has, has a, a vision there, and he has a passion and he has a commitment to follow through. And when you put those three words together, you get a very dynamic approach to things. My biggest achievement, my family. Um, uh, my wife, uh, two children, five grandchildren. I think what motivates him is people. and uh, It's people, people, people. It's, it's a constant theme around our office. Important to him are people very important. It goes through family and it goes through uh, employees and it goes through friendships and still friends today outside of business. So it's been in my terms a great involvement with him and when you say what have you learned or how have you benefited, well I think you absorb part of the, the environment that you work in and that's what we've done. What do I see in my future? Well, now the end is near, I face the, the final, final curtain. curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear, 
I'll state my case Of which I'm certain I've lived A life that's full I traveled each And every highway And more Much more than this I did it my 